for all the concerns that people had about Putin being ousted during his war in Ukraine, mm. Netanyahu is at way more risk than Putin ever was. Really? Because Israel's a functioning democracy. Right. Right. The people actually have a say. Yeah. There's relative transparency there. They already have people calling for re-election. They already have opposition leaders being welcomed and acknowledged in the West. Like Netanyahu's in a nasty place. Really? To be, is there not support for Bibi in uh, in Israel right now? There is support, but it's a very narrow, far right support. Got it. Where most of the country has taken a very moderate. Oh, I thought that the war kind of unified the country behind him. It did him. for the first- Probably temporarily, the, similar yeah, to 9-11. The protests are coming Oh, back. and now they're starting to come back. Interesting, so he's, what's up? Remember 9-11, how we all got along? And, me, and, and then eventually it's very like, what quickly, the fuck are we doing? Then? What the fuck are we doing? We split uh, further than ever. So it's almost like you have a small window to get done what you need to get done where you have full support. And the longer that window lasts, yep. the riskier your position is. And we learned that lesson after 9-11, which is why the Americans went out and said- hey, you know, Israel, you have had an injustice done. Don't do the air raids that you're planning. Don't make the mistake that, that we, we made. made. Interesting. But it was a political opportunity for Netanyahu to- Consolidate power. In, in, in a time when there was already divisiveness about whether or not the country liked him or not. And as wow. a result, to your point, Hamas is now more popular with stronger support in both Gaza and the West Bank than ever before. Because people, there is absolutely a difference between a Palestinian and a Hamas terrorist. Yes. They are not the same thing. Yes. But because the media for so long has called them the same thing, have, has you have used the two words interchangeably, yeah. now it's common knowledge. If you look at the news a week after October 8th, when the attack happened, you would see the news say, 11,000 people have been killed in Palestine, according to Hamas authorities. And then you would see a little disclaimer at the bottom that says Hamas controls the Gaza. So the health, into the health, uh, uh, whatever comes from them, right? So it basically saying, don't trust this information because it comes from Hamas. When you look at the same thing now, mm. it'll say 30,000 people have been killed, according to the Palestinian health authority. Oh, wow. Wow. So we have just validated that Hamas, who we are also calling a terrorist organization, is a valid government organization. Oh, and it's tricky wow. because they've always been the, the appointed political power in Gaza since mm. 2007. Mm. So they have been that, but because we've been so shitty with our vernacular and our terminology, we've let the waters get foggy. And now it's very difficult to teach people the truth.